Hello YouTubers. Um, today I'm going to be replacing um, a thermocouple on my boiler. Um, I, as you can see I got a new one in a package here. I got it from um, Home Depot. It only cost me um, I think it was $12. Yeah so I believe um, the one in my boiler um, it kind of it's not um it's not coming on um, the pilot light just doesn't stay on so normally it's the thermocouple usually it's um you have to replace it so I'm gonna be heading at the boiler right now the boiler room as you can see the boiler here I'm gonna just take the light off a little here so you could focus it better um, what do we have here that's the Boiler. I just took the cover off, and that's the the valve here. Uh, as you can see, the copper wire here is a little screw here. Just unscrew this here, and this here it goes all the way next to the pilot light inside there. Let's see. I believe the flame is not on right now because of um, there's no. There's no flame burning, the pilot light flame. See there? Let me just go ahead and take this light off here because so that way you can see it better. Alright. Okay, as you can see in here, on the bottom there's no flame. On the top here, can't really see no flame, but that's where you just have to unscrew this here very easy. You just unscrew it here, a small wrench, and this here, this here, this here goes all the way next to the the pilot light, all the way inside there, and it just pulls out really. You take your time and pull it out because you don't want to get nothing damaged and bent and twisted in there. Okay, so that's that. Um, what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna take the gas off. That's the gas, your first thing you turn it off for safety. Shut off the gas. And here, I'm gonna take the the power off. Alright, just for safety reason. Just for safety, you you never know. Alright, so alright. I'm gonna reach for my tools and um start the project. Alright, so now we got our tools, we're good to go. Um now we can take a peek underneath there. I have a small flashlight. There you go. Alright, so as you can see, that's the thermal couple there on the bottom. This one here. I'm gonna touch it. See this one here? The small copper wire. Here, so what you have to do is just unscrew this here. Just unscrew. Some of them just, just snap in right in. This one here, this is a Burnham boiler. And um, this one here has a little a screw here. You just unscrew it here. Right, just unscrew this here. Alrighty, so just put the camera closer so you can use the camera there. So I just unscrew this here quickly. I just loosed it a little with a wrench, so I'm just gonna hand turn it. There you go. Okay, there you go. So that screw come falls down there. And then you just snap this down. There you go. Just take it all in. There you go, let's go there. Alright, you got it, turn a couple there. As you can see, it comes all the way to the bottom there. That's a little nipple screw that goes back on onto the new one. And then this goes up top of the light. Alright, as you can see, it's on the bottom there. Top 
There you go, and it connects here on top here. As you can see right next to the valve. It's right next to the valve here. There you go, right here. So I need to unscrew this one here now. I need to unscrew this one here. This one on top here. This one here. There you go. I think it's just can't really tight it too tight so it's easily to like take in a part lock and screw it there. And there you go. You just take it right up from the bottom there. There you go. Take your time, you don't want to damage nothing there. Here you go, there we go, that's the part that goes right next to the the pilot light. And it really um, gets heated. Once it gets heated, um, it, the, the valve, the gas valve here, detects that uh, there's a flame burning. And it's just, once you hit the thermostat, it just boom, like the biler up. But well, if this is not functioning properly, it, the, the pilot light gonna go out. It just shut the gas off for security. You know, if you don't want the house to blow up or any gas leaks. So the valve just, if there's no burning flame, the, the valve just shut off automatically because you don't want any danger and the house to blow up. All right, so there you go. I have it in my hand here. Okay, that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. This is the other end. Okay. This bar goes um, underneath the boiler. Yeah. This one goes on the gas valve. Yeah. Alrighty, so now getting the new one. Just unboxing it here. I gotta feed you in one hand, so I just gotta get a better system here. Alright, so this is the new one. As you can see, this here goes, this here goes underneath the boiler right next to the you know, pilot light. And this one here goes into the, the valve, the gas valve. Comes with a nipple here, you slide it down. And this one here, you just shoot it right, right up inside um, the slot there next to the pilot light. And you screw it, you screw it in, and and that's about it. All right, so let me just um, straighten this up here quickly, so we could get um, get going. All right. As you can see here, um, it has two small um, nipple here. Alright, so we got a nipple in there. Um, so you, as you can see, you see the top here is a little long, so, I, so you could have the longer part on the top here. So this is going to go right on the bottom there. Just slide it in. I turn the screw in. You turn this here, you turn it in, you screw it in. And the other end goes on the gas valve, which is right here. 
See that hole right there? That's it right there. Right here. Okay. So let me let me hook this up and then we'll fire this baby up. Alright? Okay. Alright, so here we go. I went and um put in the new thermocouple. That's it there. Yep. All screwed in. You can't screw it too tight, you just turn it, hand tighten it, then give it a little a little turn with a little wrench. Not too too um too tight. Just hand tight like with a wrench. Alright, so as you can see, there it is up there all right so um, now as you can see I'm gonna ready to fire this baby up and do a test all right so again um this here um you just have to this is off right now the dial is off just turn it to pilot you can see it says pilot it says off pilot and then on so first you have to set it to pilot you turn it to pilot once you once you turn it to pilot then you will be able to push this down this red button once you push this red button down you have to push it on with one hand and the other hand you, you ignite it with a lighter I have a lighter on the bottom here I'm uh, try to get it out here okay there's a lighter just remove everything have it ready that's the lighter so okay so what I'm gonna do is like I said I'm gonna hold the red button down put it on to pilot like here put this on to pilot there See closer, it says their pilot, and then I'll be able to push the button. This I'm gonna push it with one hand, and then I'm gonna light the pilot light here. This here, like this is right in front of the little thermocouple. This here is the the pilot light. That's where the gas is going to be flowing from. So you can be able to ignite it and light it up. And once that's fired up, then it burns the pole, which is the thermocouple. It burns it. It's heated up. And it sends a signal through the copper wire here saying that there is flame. There's flame burning. So once you hit the thermostat, once you hit the thermostat, it will um, automatically um, light the burners. But if there's no pilot light, if there's no pilot light, then you, it's not gonna um, send a mess. It's not gonna detect that there's a flame burning here. It doesn't detect anything, so the gas wouldn't come on once you hit the thermostat. So that's one of the reasons why. I replaced uh, this um, bad thermocouple. All right, so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna get this baby fired up. We'll do a test, make sure everything works. Make sure just nothing is inside here, left any screw, any um, lighter or any you know tools are inside. Everything is clean up, you know. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna have to put a camera one spot here, so because I'm gonna have to use both hands, one hand to lit it and one hand to push the red button up so I'm gonna just leave the camera here for a second um, probably I'll take the, the the light off so once I light it light it up it, you'll see it properly let me just take the Also, remember I shut the gas off. So what I'm gonna do is 
I'm going to turn the gas back on. Turn the back gas on. That's on there. And I'm going to light the burner. Like the pilot light, I mean. So let me just put this here. So then you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so all right, set the pilot, push the red button, ignite. Here we go. All right, we got a flame there, as you can see, a little blue and red flame. It's burning. All right, yeah, just hold it down for like two minutes, one minute, one to two minutes. So it heats it up a little bit. All right, and um, see as you can see, I'm still holding it down, so the flame could still heat it up a little, heat the cup thermocouple. Once the thermocouple heat heats up, it sends a signal here saying there's a flame burning. Yeah. All right, I guess it's a new thermocouple, so it should be working fine. Let me just let go and see what happened. Yeah. I just let go and the fire still on so I'm gonna just switch this now here you have to switch it to on position and you still have the flame as you can see yeah there's a flame burning All right. Okay, so I took the light off here so you could see a closer image. I mean, it's a little dark, but you're able to see the flame inside here. Yeah, so the pilot is set to on, and you still have a burning flame there. As you can see, the little red bar inside there. See a tiny bar in the middle? That's the thermocouple is heated up. So that's good to go. It's a good sign. All right, so I'm ready to fire it up. Okay, so here we go. So I'm just gonna put the switch back on. Yeah, you should hear a kick on. There you go. You got a flame there. That's perfect. Everything ready good to go there all right here we go here we go all right so thank you guys for watching my video um, everything went okay just be careful if you can't handle it just get a professional out there all right guys but it's a very simple step to take please leave your comment and send me your messages all right thank you for watching